हेलो एंड नमस्ते आई होप यू मस्ट हैव बीन वर्किंग विद एक्सेल शीट्स एंड कलेक्टिंग डेटा एंड एनालाइजिंग द डेटा सो डेटा एनालिसिस इज़ अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग दीज डेज एंड एज फार एज डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इंडस्ट्री इज़ कंसर्न वी ऑल हैव टू एनालाइज लॉर्ड्स एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ डेटा स्पेशली इफ वी आर यू नो रनिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कैंपेन्स वेदर इट्स ऑर्गेनिक एस सी ओ कैंपेन और पेड कैंपेन्स ऑन गूगल सो इवन द यूट्यूब पेड एट कैंपेन्स सो अनलेस एंड अनटिल यू विल नॉट एनालाइज द डेटा एंड रिपोर्ट इट इन अ नाइस मैनर थिंग्स विल बिकम क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू सो गोन आर दोज डेज वेन पीपल यूज टू यू नो डिपेंड हैवीली ऑन एक्सेल शीट्स और गूगल शीट्स now we have got powerful ways for transforming your raw data into some informative and easy to understand reports so today we'll going to discuss one of such tools which is called as google data studio it's a free tool provided by google and uh, it enables us to create interesting reports that you can use it for yourself with your team and you can share it with your clients also so without wasting further time let's get started okay so first thing first what is google data studio so basically google data studio is an online tool for converting data into customizable informative reports and dashboards introduced by google so this tool basically it has helped us so much that like it has made our life much 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 easier let me show you like how does it look like okay so there are just three steps that you need to do and the first step is adding data sources so let me show you how we can add data source so once you are on your uh, google data studio dashboard then you can click on create option and here you can see this data source thing so you can click on that and now you can add as many data sources as as you want so i have added these ones like the google analytics google ads uh file uploading google sheets google ad manager 360 google surveys youtube analytics now there are apart from this there are lot more uh sources for fetching data so you can add linkedin ads also uh you can you know even connect ahrf uh, adobe analytics ad roll all these things like you can do uh you can get data from unlimited almost unlimited uh sources and this will basically make your overall task easier because like the data that you will collect from all these sources you can you know convert it into nice dashboard and then study it uh, making it easier for yourself as well as for your clients if you want this brings us to the step 2 which is choosing a report template so there are two options with you like either you can create your own report or you can choose a pre created report template let me show you so here you can see that uh, we have got different templates here right so if i go into the template gallery i can see here that all these particular templates whether it's for google ads youtube analytics google sheets search console google analytics all these particular templates are pre created and i can simply use them so this is one of the option like if you want to save time and if you want to simply use the pre created templates the second option is like once you become a pro in uh, data studio and once you understand things and once you know that like you want customized reports like according to your usage then you can you know use this create option create a report option and it will get you somewhere here now here you can again uh, you know it, it will ask you for connecting a data source so suppose i'm you know choosing uh, here google analytics and suppose i'm choosing this particular account adding it okay now okay before that let me add a particular chart so there are different charts that are available so suppose i am adding a table here okay somewhere here and now in this table i can add a uh, campaigns i want to see the campaign so let me choose this one and i'll delete this page title thing 
and currently it's not fetching up the data let me refresh the data okay so now uh, sometimes you know it, it can you know you have to drill down into getting the uh, particular data if suppose your data is not uh, fetching up properly then you can use this particular option which is Google Ads or like uh, not Google Ads but you can you know use this particular thing and you can you know try to uh, fetch the data again so that thing you can do because you need to ensure that you are getting the data in the right manner so my Google Analytic data is showing some problem I'll have to look into it later but apart from this like whatever data sources I've added you can see it here and suppose I'm choosing it uh, like the Google ad account here then I'm seeing all the information easily now I was trying to show you this thing only that if you want to you know change these particular metrics you can change it easily so suppose there are two things basically the dimension and the metrics so suppose I'm choosing here the campaign as the dimension okay when I click here I can choose other uh, dimensions also so in this table I'm choosing campaign and suppose the metrics now I'm, I have chosen all conversion every CPC now if I want to choose any other uh, like for example I want to choose impressions then I can choose impression and it will add a particular column which is impressions for a particular campaign so this way I can manage this particular data and you can you know add uh, a lot of uh, different uh, chart types are available so you can you know if you want you can include a score type here so for example I I am including this score type here and this is number of impressions now if you don't want number of impressions and you want to change it to number of clicks then you can you know add it and you can add clicks now it will start showing you the clicks so this way you can add you can add time series also uh, you can add bar graphs you can add pie chart for example if I am adding a pie chart let me show you how does the pie chart look like uh, it is not letting me okay here it is so suppose I am adding a pie chart here okay now the pie chart currently having is having the dimension as campaign and clicks okay now if I want to change it so how can I do that I can do that like uh, you know I can change it to uh, here I can change the metrics let me see if I can change it to region okay so let me see if I can change it to region oh okay so it's not showing correctly I have chosen a different thing let me see new sessions okay so it is showing me the new sessions versus the campaign like you can do anything anything you can manipulate this particular data basically all this data if you will go into the Google ad campaign it is a very raw data difficult to understand for a normal user and things become quite difficult when you have to do the reporting to your clients so this kind of reporting makes things quite easy for you and for your clients also they can you know see easily like what different things you want to show them and how the overall campaign is progressing so this is a kind of a customizable report that you can create yourself and other than that the template I've already shown you like how you can use the template let me show you further uh, in one of the template for Google ad template how we have used that, that one okay so once you are on your Google data studio dashboard then what you need to do is you need to simply uh, choose a template from here so there is uh, there is a template gallery here and uh, there are different categories for example Google Analytics, Search Console, Google Ads, YouTube Analytics, Google Sheets, BigQuery, Search Ads 360, Display and Video Ads 360 all these particular categories are there. So uh, you can choose any of these templates and suppose you are running Google Ad campaigns so simply select Google Ads and now here you will say that okay there are four templates but no click on this down arrow and you will see lot more templates pre-created templates that you can directly use for your own uh, benefit so that is a third step so the third step is basically we need to add relevant data now we have added the data source we have chosen a report template the third thing is naturally we need to add data and the template will automatically convert that data into wonderful report structure like a dashboard thing let me show you so suppose we are choosing this Google Ads overview option here okay and when you will open it then it will be filled up previously by dummy data 
So it's kind of a dummy data that is not your own data that this is a kind of the data from the Google sources just to show you like how things will look like. Now suppose you want to add your own data. So what you can do it, you can go to edit option. And now it will give you different opportunities to add data from into into this particular report. So suppose first of all, I'll select uh, a particular source here. So naturally, I mean, I have connected all my accounts here, Google Analytics, Google Ad account, everything I have connected. So I'll select one of the Google Ad accounts and or, or my Google Ads Manager account and let's see what, what particular data it will start showing up here. So suppose we select this one and uh, so you need to ensure that when you are adding the data, then you should change the particular currency. If you are running a Google ads manager account and like you have taken access to different accounts using uh, your particular Google ads, uh, my client center manager account, then you need to uh, change the currencies. Once you will start changing uh, the currencies, then you will start seeing the relevant accounts which are using those particular currencies. So I'll add this one here and I'll click on apply. Now you will see that the data here will start changing. Okay, you can see here that the data has started changing. Now I can name this particular report. For example, I want to name this report as bridge. Okay, I'm naming this report as Google Ads Overview Report. Bridge uh, is the name of the project. Okay, now I can see the different campaigns that are being run here. And now let me create a filter again. So we'll go into the filter section here. I go into the field and uh, I choose here campaign campaign name and uh, it should contain bridge okay so actual name is bridge living so let me try this one I think now it will start showing the particular accounts okay so now we can see the campaign filter has started working good and we can see here that it has started fetching up the particular thing like particular campaigns related to bridge living we can see all those particular campaigns here now you have filtered the particular campaigns now suppose you have to filter this particular thing also according to bridge living like you want to you know make this report look like uh, it is so you need to apply the filter here again so use the same filter and it has saved your filter so simply select this and click on this particular thing so what it this particular uh, process will do is it will change this particular uh, these particular metrics according to your campaign filter that you have put up like that particular campaign should have bridge living now you will tell me that like this particular process is very lengthy and like this particular thing is taking a lot of time adding the filter to each of the metrics so there is a shortcut also to it I didn't tell you that shortcut because I wanted you to, you know, first of all, understand the whole process of changing each of those metrics and each of those metrics uh, matters a lot. So you can go into the file settings here and you can choose uh, report settings. When you will go into the report settings, then what this particular thing allows you is that you can, you know, apply the filter to whole report here, right? So this is the whole process. Okay, before you go, I have got one bonus for you. So I have created a very nice template. If you are into SEO and if you want to share SEO reporting with your clients, then I have created this particular template that you can you know, use for your benefit and you can share it with your clients anytime. Uh, the link of this particular template would be in the video description. You can download it from there and just make a copy. So whenever you want to use it, just make a copy and it will be added into your own Google Data Studio dashboard. And yes, you can use it and enjoy it and edit it as per your use. Like it's not essential that you cannot uh, change it. Like you can change the logo of the company here from here and you can place your own company logo and use it for your own benefit and give a good impression to your clients also. So I hope you enjoyed watching this particular video with me and learned something new today. And if you like it, do let me know. If you have got any doubts, you can leave comments and I'll surely answer you. So thanks for being with me. Thank you.